In this video, I'm going to look at what happens when you delta hedge in your short options. So I'm going to book a trade, an option position, and I'm going to sell oops, a thousand options, Let's sell a thousand puts this time. So we have sold a thousand puts. The puts were worth $5.57. So we sold them. So we have a liability on our balance sheet represented as a negative number. For the options and payments, we received $5,573.53, net present value of zero. So let's look at our chart. And we see that we are short a put. If the market goes up, we make money. How much can we make? $5,573. If the market goes down, we start to lose money. So again, let's make the stock go down to 99. We should lose money. $372. Stock goes back up to 100, we make it back. With options, we're meant to delta hedge, so let's book the share position. Again, this defaults to the correct number of shares to give you a zero delta and the correct price. Again, the spot price on our spreadsheet is 100, the share price in our trade is 100. We click OK, our delta is now zero. Present value, again, is zero because we're trading everything at fair. Let's update our chart. And we see a frown. Again, the delta is zero. The delta is the first derivative of the option price. The delta is the slope of our graph. The delta is zero, which means we have a local minimum or a local maximum. In this case, a local maximum. Now, when the stock goes down to 99, we lose money. We're going to the left down this curve. We lose $9.47 in this case. Stock goes back up to 100. We make it back. Our strategy, though, is when the stock goes down to 99, we are meant to rebalance our hedge. The delta is 19.01, which means we should sell 19.01 shares. So let's book our trade, shares, everything defaults correctly. Okay, our delta is now zero. And when the market goes back up, we've lost $19 and a penny. We rebalance our delta. The delta is negative 1901, so we should buy 1901 shares. And our delta is again zero. The present value of this portfolio is negative 19. 0 0.01. Basically, we have locked in this loss, $19 and a penny. And you can think about it. The original option trade is worth what it was at the beginning. The original share trade is worth what it was at the beginning. But then we did two more trades. We sold shares when the stock was at 99 and bought them back when the stock was 100. So we lost money. And this is typical for being short options. When you're short options and you rebalance your delta hedge, you always lock in losses. So oddly, again, if we think about this, this is a little strange because why would you want to be short options rather than long? If you were long options, when the market moves, you lock in small amounts of profit. If you're short options and the market moves, whenever you rebalance your delta hedge, you lock in small amounts of loss.